Hey, what is up guys? Gonna be playing a FUD deck. I know for the past couple days I've been doing a lot of meta, so I thought, you know, we'll jump into it with a FUD deck. This is Battery Man OTK. Pretty easy deck to play. Most of the cards are actually common uh, in this deck. Uh, you don't have to play maxis, it just makes the deck a little bit faster. Um, especially if you're playing against, you know, meta. And usually people like to play meta against me because they want to win, which is all good. I don't blame them for that. But so this is like a meh hand. Um, I have two cards that I need for the OTK. Um, and I can get one of the cards out, but uh, we'll see what my opponent has. Uh, I still have, I need the, uh, the short circuit card. That's what it really allows me to OTK. But <clears throat> I'm going to be getting significant uh, card advantage real soon, and I'll probably be able to OTK within probably about, I'd say, five turns, max. <laughs> Minimum, maybe next turn. Uh, we happen to have short circuit, he doesn't attack. Um, oh, fusion gate, okay. Um, if he's activating that fusion gate card, I think he's gonna go for it. I mean, all of that stuff is... I can't chain to it. I believe. Let me just, let me just check. I, I don't think you can chain to fusion. Oh, you can. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Because it, it, I guess it's an effect. Okay, gotcha. Because so I was thinking it's not inherent, but it's a continuous. I don't know. There's a lot of strange things, like, if you guys didn't know, you can't, um, Solemn Warning, uh, Infernity Launcher, because it's continuous. So I was like, I don't know. You know, oh, what is this card? Uh... You can discard one card type. Okay. Go for that shining. Okay. So this. Oh, what? Oh, this is a new card. Okay. I, I've never seen this build. I don't know if there's the the, the vision heroes happen to have some some combo. I, every time I see Fusion Gate, I always think that there's some other new broken combo. Uh, but uh, we'll see. Um, Is that good so far? I mean, I, I can black rose the field if I want to. I don't think it's that great, but at that point, he basically loses everything if it successfully goes off. Uh, I'm gonna definitely just use that T roar uh, after I duality. Oh, card card D. <laughs> That's a really good card to have. Let's go ahead and add that card card D. And we'll set the uh, T roar, and I don't want to get end phase space typhoon, so I'm gonna set this. And I already have this, so I don't really need the other card to actually get off my Infernal Reckless I'm playing. Because you basically have three uh, Reborns anyways in the deck. Alright, that's not bad at all. I still need Short Circuit to pull it off. Next turn I should be able to have it, guys, so don't worry. I wish you could just be like, I like how Karkar D can't be Special Summoned, yet you can only use it during the turn it was Normal Summon. <laughs> So I can't, I can't call the Haunted and bring it back, just to like, protect myself. But, uh, we'll see what he has. Um, I don't, I'm trying to think, what is the combination with this? Uh, so basically, it makes it so it reduces the attack by up to 2800. So, you can get a direct attack, and then what is this one? Uh, that's fine. Uh, what does this one do? Discard one card to target one face monster with the original attack less than this and destroys it. So, I don't know if there's some type of OTK with this variant. I d don't think there- okay. Oh! Okay, Th there's some combo with bladed. What is it? Ah, oh, I forgot what it, it is. There, there, I know that there's a combo with it, though. Someone will let me know in the comment section below uh, what the combo is, because I actually don't know it off the top of my head. I don't think he's going to activate anything to make him- I'm going for game next turn anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, not going to want to call pumped. You, you want to, uh, you want to attack race? <laughs> Alright, so I mean, if he's too much, it's card. It doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to be drawing lots of cards. Oh, heck yeah. All of them for a reckless sense. Okay, at this point, I should be able to draw one of the, the, uh, the short circuits. Hopefully. Oh, there we go. See, I told you guys we'd have it. Alright, guys, let's go ahead and OTK my opponent. So, what I'm actually going to do first, um, to actually make sure this guaranteeing myself actually I've, I have I can pull it off three times this turn technically so uh, I'm first I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and activate um, call the haunted and then I'm gonna spot someone battery man AA or double a I guess I should say that'd probably be easier and then we're gonna chain in front of Rockless summon and we don't need to train anymore and then I'm uh, gonna spot summon three of them we're gonna short circuit him oh, 
you got, you got an answer? Because I, I could go, I can do it all day. I got another, I got another uh, one of these. I got debris dragon. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and activate uh, short circuit. Now I know one of the battery man will die because of this, but oh, never mind. I was thinking to blow up everything, but it doesn't because you know that would be uh, that'd be fair. It doesn't blow up uh, my my back. It only destroys all my opponent's cards. So it's Regeki plus Feather Duster all in one card. Uh, and it, it's pretty nasty. But um, at this point, it doesn't really matter what we do. Uh, like I said, I could have Black Rose the field if I really wanted to. And then um, if I really had to. I didn't really need to do that simply because um, in front of Electro Summon uh, requires uh, your opponent to have a monster, right? Let me see. Uh... But yeah, you, your opponent has to have a monster. So technically, um, yeah, like I said, I could have like tried for it three times if he negated or whatever. But I doubt he plays Gores in a fusion deck, hero deck, because uh, I know that the card in his hand is Blade Edge. Uh, I forgot what the combo was Blade Edge, but there's something with Necrofade and Blade Edge that open up some like really dirty combo. But like I said, guys, it's an OTK deck, really easy to play, and you guys can see how it works. Plus, like I said, um, you always have options in this deck to like try to blow up the field before you go for your play. Like Derby Dragon is an excellent card in this deck because all you have to do is special summon this guy. And what you can also do, guys, is you can go to Breeze Dragon and you can get back Battery Man. And um, that still is a Battery Man on the field. So uh, if you normal summon a Battery Man and you call the Haunted another one or something, you get three out what, however you get it out. Uh, you can still go for the short circuit play and then just blow up your opponent's entire field. And then, uh, you know, normal summon something else because this is already 6k, just two of them. Uh, it's just ridiculous how much attack uh, these guys can actually put out. Actually, it'd be 4k, because this guy would have his effect negated by Debris Dragon. But you guys get the day yet. It's a really nasty deck, and it's kind of sacky sometimes. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope this is fun for you guys, because uh, I know, uh, like you said, I've been playing a lot of meta, and I want to cater towards everyone that watches my channel, not only the players that are interested in watching the competitive start of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but also the fun and interesting uh, OTKs and random decks. I mean, better man, they're not that bad, really. But thanks for watching, guys. Asian Ice out.